Well, hello everyone, and welcome to week 32 of my life as an L3 CTS cadet pilot. As a matter of fact, it's week 32 of the whole course, but it's also the end of week one in New Zealand. Pleased to say that I'm settling in, but as you may have noticed, the room I'm in right now is quite big. So, am I in clearways? No, I'm not in clearways right now, but I will be in a few weeks' time. Because we had a last minute change from Phoenix, Arizona to Hamilton, New Zealand, it meant that there wasn't a space available for us in Clearways. So as a temporary measure, CTC L3 have put us into a motel for three weeks. And I have to say, it's uh, not bad. So what have I been up to in this last week? So we landed in Auckland last Friday. Uh, very jet lagged, very tired. Um, I think it was Saturday, didn't do a huge amount, but Sunday we went over to the coast, a place called Raglan, and it was a very scenic area, very nice. Uh, I might put a couple of pictures on screen whilst uh, I'm talking so you can see what the area is like. So, what have we been doing actually physically at the training centre at Hamilton? Well, unfortunately, it's uh, a little bit more ground school work before we get to fly the aircraft. We have to do something that's called EASA differences training, which takes our EASA ATPL theory and adds the New Zealand PPL side of it to it. So if there's any differences, we'll be told about in this training. For example, like in meteorology, we'll learn about the weather patterns in New Zealand. And another thing that we'll also have to pass is a New Zealand Air Law PPL exam. We're legally required to do that to fly solo in New Zealand. So I think it was on was it Wednesday or Thursday? Anyway, it was one of those days. We've already sat at EASA Differences exam. Pleased to let you know that I have passed that. I think I got 92% in that. So that was uh, remarkably high. So not complaining. And it's, this has been recorded on Saturday, by the way. So on Monday, I have the New Zealand PPL Air Law exam. Done a few practice papers and scoring about late 70s, mid 80s area. It's varying a bit because there's not many questions in the exam. So a couple of areas can put your percentage out by a large margin. So it's very important to concentrate. This is going to be my last written exam before I get my hands on a Diamond DA20 which is the aircraft that has been designated to me. So obviously I'm not too fat for it. So <laughs> that's good news. And uh, I'm not tall, so that means I can actually fit in it. So that's good news. I'm actually look, really looking forward to flying a brand new aircraft type. And on top of that, flying in New Zealand, the scenery is going to be unbelievable. So what have I been up to? Well, it's this week it's going to be it's been setting in. I've been doing getting used to the new currency because it's New Zealand dollars over here, not Great British pounds. Uh, I've had to get a new phone because we are required to have a New Zealand phone number. So I picked up a little cheap twenty nine dollar phone. Looks like it looks a bit like a Nokia thirty three ten. Looks like you could probably drop it out of an aircraft at three thousand feet, and it probably wouldn't even scratch. So I've got that all done. Uh, I've had to set up a bank account over here because uh, not all uh, UK debit and credit cards can be used over here. Although they can be, but you'll have the problem with exchange rates. You'll just get the rate on the day and then you'll have a mountain of fees. So the best thing to do is open up a bank account over here. Thankfully, L3 was uh, able to provide us with details of a bank. So that was good. They came in to see us. And they've also provided us with a, I say a car, it's an old banger for 11 days whilst we get settled in. So I think it's next Tuesday we have to return the car. And by that point we should have arranged a car hire, which is another thing we're going to be doing this weekend. We're going to be looking at cars. Uh, as a matter of fact, car hire over here is very reasonable. And in terms of pricing, there are some things that are very expensive, like good quality food, even reasonable quality stuff is generally quite expensive over here. I mean, like milk and cereal, fruit and veg, that's fairly dear over here. 
although just be a bit careful because the one thing that is cheap over here is fast food. I mean, you can go down to Pizza Hut, Domino's, you can get a reasonable size premium pizza for five dollars, which is like it's not it's not even three 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 uh three pounds. I couldn't even think of the currency then. So used to New Zealand dollars. So been going on for a little while now. I feel like I'm finally over jet lag. I've, earlier in the week I was waking up at four four or five o'clock in the morning. is isn't great, but I w didn't set an alarm today and uh, I woke up at I think it was nine o'clock, so I think I've acclimatised to the uh, southern hemisphere on the other side of the planet. So, as a little bit of a bonus for you, I'm actually going to give you a bit of a uh, tour of the room that I'm staying in. Even though there's two chairs in it, it is designed for two people, but uh, we've got one each, so that's good news. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to pause, actually. I'm just going to grab the camera. I may blank the screen here because uh, it requires me to spin it to get it off the stand, but... There with. Spinny, spinny, spinny. So there we go. So that was the chair I was just sitting in. That's the camera stand. There's my laptop. As a matter of fact, that is our ren nearly rendered last week's video, the Travelling to New Zealand one. So we get a nice, reasonable sized TV. Looks like about a 24 inch. Mm, yeah, 24 I'd say, maybe 26. So we get a reasonable sized desk. Excuse the mess that is my desk. We also got given a David Clark headset when we arrived. Also, I picked up a cheap mouse. Cheap phone that I've bought, as a matter of fact. Where is it? There he is. Not kidding when I said cheap. Oh, some reflection. Hello! <laughs> uh, I've not really properly unpacked because... We're here for three weeks and then we're moving into clear ways. So I've sort of just been living out of a suitcase. There's my pile of clothes. Uh, we get given a washing basket, which is to clear ways. There's my flight bag, which has been rapidly filled up. I mean, in Southampton, I didn't put these extendable cases on the side because I never really needed them. Oh, you need them in New Zealand. Bins, including last night's pizza, because I could not be bothered to cook. And it was a Friday, so I said, why not? Get a pizza, it's only five dollars. So we have a nice kitchen area. I'm just gonna come back and just pan out a little bit. So we get the like thing that you see here. Uh, I'll rephrase that. Everything that you see here isn't everything. So I've brought the toaster out and you can see my reflection again. So we've got toaster, kettle, sink, two hobs. Takes a little while to warm up, but it does a job. Cutlery drawer, saucepans, utensils, you name it fridge that we have to stock, although CTC provided with us some food for the first day or two, depending on how much you want to eat. Got a cupboard for more food, uh, some stale bread around the corner there, ah oh, yes. Freshly ironed uniform, yep, pulled that out of the suitcase, oh, I've never seen so many creases in my life. That took me a good hour to get them all out. Uh, get an iron, ironing board, microwave, and I have to admit, these two chairs are the world's comfiest chairs I've ever been. If I could take something to clearways, it would be these bad boys. A massive bed, four pillows, some more shoes lined up there. Uh, yeah, four pillows, but I only use two, alarm clock, you name it, it's all there. Heating and air conditioning systems, so that's all programmed. I find that 23 heat is spot on. So, last but not least, the bathroom, you're not going to believe this, so loo, towel rail, sink, nice mirror, and a spa bath, which is epic after a hard day's work. That's another thing I'm going to be missing. So, I'm going to come back out, and like I say, I'm going to put you back on the stand, so I'm going to blank the screen again whilst I spin this around. See if we can get it to go on properly. Yep, we're on. It's my chin. And back into the comfy chair. And like I said, these are the comfiest chairs in the world. I like to call them because you can go back like this and pull these up. As a matter of fact, they go back even f back even further than that. And on that note, I will see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Bye bye.